In this tutorial, let's take a look at how we can create this flag attached simulation using the cloth constraint presets of the RBD11.6 MetalSoft add on. Here's the mesh that we can use to simulate the flag. Let's go into the edit mode and take a look. Here we can see a fairly denser mesh with a lot of vertices. This is required as RBD Lab uses geometry node points at the vertices, which can then be used as rigid bodies with soft constraints during simulation. Now let's get into the workflow. In the object mode, under fracture main module, let's head to prepare tab. And here, under soft bodies, let's create chunks. And let's use points. Now here we have the points. And let's apply all. And then let's check for automatic neighbor calculation if done correctly by the add-on. So let's pick this chunk and let's click on this icon to select the neighbors. And as we can see, the neighbor calculations have not been done properly by the add-on. And the reason for this might be that if there are gaps between the chunks, then the calculations might not happen properly. So either we can scale the particle size in the previous step before clicking apply all, or we can actually calculate the neighbors using the recalculate neighbors tab. So here let's head to the neighbors and let's click on bounding box and let's give a bounding box offset of something like 0 0.01 and let's click OK. So this should calculate the neighbors. Now let's click on this one and let's click on this icon to select the neighbors and there we go. It actually calculated all the neighbors and it has the data. And there we go. So now these neighbor calculations are very important when we need to work with the constraints. And now let's head to physics tab. Now let's click on RBD to add rigid bodies to the chunks. And let's click on play. And there we go. As we can see, there is a slight explosive behavior at the start of the simulation. What that means is that these some of these chunks are overlapping with each other. So in order to have a more stable simulation, let's um, change the transform pivot point to individual origins. And let's select all the chunks and let's scale them down a bit. So that now when we play the simulation, we will have a stable simulation. There we go, no more explosive behavior at the start of the simulation because none of the chunks are overlapping with each other. So far so good. Now let's take these top chunks and let's give them set passive by selection. Let's click on update and there we go. That's cool, these chunks are now passive. Now let's head to constraints and here let's check on collections as the source filter and let's create a constraint group. Now the constraints are created between all the chunks. There we go. Now under constraint settings, let's select the cloth preset because that's what we are interested in. And the type is soft and under limit rotations, let's have the limit rotation at zero degrees. And under limit linear distance, let's have the distance reduced to something like 0 0.001 meters. And here, let's click on disable collisions for faster calculations and let's click on update. And there we go. Now we can see that the constraints are working. So far, so good. Now, Let's um, add a cube. Let's scale it down and let's bring it up a bit. Now here, let's apply scale on the cube and under motion module, let's add a rigid body to the cube and let's make the type from active to passive and let's click on kinematic. Now let's get back to the constraints and Let's create another constraint group. And here, let's create a fixed type of constraint. And this time we're gonna attach this geometry. 
So let's click on Attach Geometry, and we're going to attach some of the chunks to this cube. Now, under Source Filter, let's check on Selection, and let's check these chunks to attach to this cube. Now, create the constraint group. And these are the original constraints. And this is the new constraint group, which is created with these chunks attached to this cube. Now, let's click on 100 iterations for a stronger calculation and click on Update. Now, let's take a look. Now, let's play the simulation. And then let's select the cube and let's move. There we go. So that's what we were looking for. Now that we have the simulation, let's head to the Metalsoft module here and let's create Mesh Deform. And for the original collection, let's select the original mesh, which is the original cloth. And let's select this icon here for visualization of the cloth. And there we go. Now let's select the cube again and let's play the animation and let's move the cube. There we go. Now let's increase the resolution by adding a subdivision modifier on the cloth. So here, let's add modifier and subdivision surface, and let's increase the levels to two. Now let's take a look. There we go. That's how we can simulate a flag attach using the RBD Lab 1.6. And here we can also keyframe the animations of the cube itself. So let's have automatic keyframe. And there we go. So that's how we can create this flag attach simulation. And in order to view better, we can actually change the cavity to both and then click on mat cap. And there we go. And the simulation is running to 250 frames because under physics, And here in the rigid body world, we have simulation end at 250. If you would like to run for more frames, then we can change this to something like 300 or even more. And we can also change the visualization back to cloth. So let's say we would like to make the cloth more flexible and a little less stiff. So what we can do is we can go back to the constraints and change a couple of um, parameters. So let's first get to the chunks view and um, let's select the cube and let's delete these keyframes. There we go. Now let's select these constraints and these are our previous parameters. Now let's just play with the previous parameters. As we can see, this is the stiffness. Now let's say we increase the limit linear distance to let's say 0 0.02 and click on update. And there we go. Here we can see that instantly the cloth has become much more flexible compared to the previous parameters. Looks good so far. Now let's change a few more. Let's select Spring Linear and let's select the X, Y, Z axis and let's reduce the stiffness from 1 to 0 0.1 and let's also reduce the damping to 0 0.01.
and let's click on update and there we go now let's take a look now the cloth seems to be much more flexible also if you would like to create a higher resolution simulation then we can actually add more vertices to the geometry so that more geometry node points will be created which will be converted to chunks in the simulation now let's load the original demo scene to take a look let's click on open scene after selecting the scene here and there we go this is the original demo scene here and we can take a look by pressing the space bar or the play animation and there we go and we can actually change the visualization to cloth as well So this is the original demo scene. Now let's say we would like to add material to this cloth mesh. So the way we can do it is first let's pick an image. So in my case, I'm picking this image right here. So this is the image I'm going to use for the cloth simulation. So the way we can work on it is let's go to the shading tab and first let's go to the render properties and let's change the render engine to cycles and then gpu and there we go let's reduce the render samples to 256 and film let's get it to transparent and under world let's add a simple sky texture and let's reduce the strength to 0.5 now let's get to the preview. There we go. Now let's add a material. Let's click on new material. And here, once the principal PSDF is selected, let's press Ctrl Shift T. And here we can use this shortcut if we have the Node Wrangler add on enabled. There we go. This is the Node Wrangler add on, which comes with Blender. You just need to enable this one. Now let's click open and let's select the image. Uh, let's in pictures, screenshots, flag attach, and there we go. And let's take a look. Now here we don't see anything. And the reason is because we were using geometry nodes, let's head to layout and let's head to metal soft here. And here, under metal soft rbd lab deform let's select unique material and under material id let's give it the new material let's go back to shading and there we go now we can see the new material now let's head to layout and let's click on cycles and let's play the simulation there we go That's how we can add material to the cloth mesh. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.